Oh, yeah, boy. Perfect head first. Double. Guys, we're going to chuck these cleats on as normal. Got a uh, life jacket on, all that kind of good stuff. High vis clothing. It's hold someone where I am, especially when I'm fishing solo. I put these cleats on. They just go over your your normal beater shoes with a good sole. It just goes over. Straight uni, seven wraps to a saw. Keep your tag ends in your box and clean it up at home. Um, so there's plenty of slimy mackerel about, so I'm not sure whether to go this little Nomad Riptide Longcast 105, 105 mil, or go a little bit bigger, Riptide 125 floating. I'm more inclined to go this little one, just so I can see, ah, I just want to pick up something. I think this colorway is absolutely going to be money. Nice calm day. So it won't get lost in the wash too much, this smaller lure. Slimy mackerel color. Slimies have been a little bit bigger, but I'm on a P2 outfit, so I'm kind of restricted in the size I can throw on my rod. Um, I think we'll, we'll give that a crack for now. Here we go, this little nomad. Riptide 105 long cars, single, straight out the box, BKK. Um, so we fixed that with 20 pound main line to, and 20 pound lead, I should say, to a swivel. So that's going to free it up. And yeah, BKK out the box, hooks, and we're ready to go. No fiddling about. Good morning, legends, and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Mark and Mark. Well, let's go fishing. So this morning, just at a local spot here, it's a weekend. Phoenix is quite early. So I could get a spot and the people are rolling in. Um, so, looks like it's gonna be a busy spot. Extremely high tide today, like a very big high. Two meter, 2.1 meter high. So we'll see how we go. We've got a bit of a headwind here, but it's the only sort of spot I could fish locally because we have a southerly swell. Um, so we'll see how we go guys. There should be a couple of pelagius around kingfish bonnies and whatnot, so hopefully we can target those guys and see how we go guys. Oh ho!
eyes on the jig. I got two. Doubles. There you go, guys. Double rats off the stones. How good was that, guys? Not the size of one, but uh, still great fun off the rocks when you get a double kingfish. Two on one lure, it felt really odd. That's all I can say. It felt like a sort of a mid sized kingfish, but doing all sorts of weird things in the water. One was pulling one way, one was pulling the other. Very cool. Might have to just retie a little bit. There's a little bit of a nick, so there's a big fish. I may be a little bit in trouble. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Just bonnie. Alright guys, so we're just going to dispatch him, go to a brain spike. Guys, brain spike right in the head, very humane. He's gone. Bleed. I'm going to see if I can get a hook up here, because it, it's absolutely fiery and very thick. Five days before the full moon, they're absolutely crazy. Guys, we are on. Smallest bonita in the world, guys, is gonna get back in the drink. Absolutely firing this morning, five days before the full moon. Fish are on fire.
Here we go guys, what is it, like a um, 62 or so, healthy fish. He is going to go back in the drink. Perfect, head first. Yeah, on top. Good for bait. Good for bait for kings. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Oh, I got a king. That was a small tackle too, that guy that we lost there guys, he just pulled hooks and was about to lift him up. Perfect because I was going to be crazy on the ledge here, but he was maybe, I don't know, 50 centimetres or so. Better to de-hook him in the water without handling him than having to play around with him here. Running the Gauntland today, just running 20 pound litre, or 25 from memory. Um, and 20 pound main line, but I think it breaks at 30. So the main line's okay. Um, leader 2025. It's okay, put a couple of touches up on the rocks and it's uh, game over. So I'll sort of run 2025 here because it's sort of like a, um, I don't know, it's a very flat surface here. So there's not much like, they can't really bust you off. You can just pull your rod out and generally they just swim back and forth. But um, if your jig does get stuck, if you run sort of like, hooks at the front and back they can stick to the ledge so be mindful that's what happened earlier was running up and down and i just saw it got stuck there with a the back hook uh, which is unfortunate um, and that would have been you know low 60s as well that one so yeah but not a bad morning um everything was sort of pre-first light or at first light and starting to slow down during sunrise so maybe double a little small one Oh, Benito, on his head. Yeah, he, he fought hard because it's on his head, the back one. Yeah, not too bad, sort of. There's my foot size, maybe 45 centimeters or so. Very cool. I'm on, I think I'm on, yeah. 
Uh, it's... Wow, it's the smallest king I've ever seen, bro. Look how small this is! The smallest. I've got 20 pound on this one. We're here, eh? Whoa! Now, do you know what happened? I was lazy. I had a nick in my line and I didn't change it. Oh. <laughs> so that's why it's halfway up the leader. Oh, shit. What not to do, guys, what not to do is I had a nick in my line and I just thought, oh, I'll just catch some bonnies, what not, and, and then illegal kingfish hits and, and then you lose that too. You know, I was just in the heat of the moment because it's firing. I was like, oh, I'll just keep fishing, keep fishing. Yeah, and right in my nick, I shouldn't have. Yeah, right here. I saw this fray here and I was like, I'll just, whatever, leave it. <sighs> so, I'm gonna chop a bit of that off. Gonna have to go swing by my local tackle store and buy some more. So, we'll keep that. Yo. Yeah, that's why I didn't wanna, cause now I got like half a meter of a leader. I was like, oh, if I, if I cut it off, just keep that under my bag. If I cut it off. Yeah, I've got, yeah, half a metre. Go with, I guess, the... Pink Nomad. Righty, Pink Nomad. This is a little bit faster sinking. I sort of reserve it for a high tide. <sighs> Cracking lure, though. And <laughs> I should ultimately get a swivel, but uh, I haven't had my wee this morning. I haven't had coffee. I'm on rough sleep as kids have been waking up, teething and whatnot. So I'm sure a lot of mums and dads there can relate. So King just followed it to the ledge. Oh, he ran away. Oh, it's a Mac tuna, Bonnie. That's a big one, guys. Yeah. I thought it was a king, it was swimming down. Let him chill out a bit. Nah, it should be okay. They're out there, boys. They're out there. Yeah, mid water, yeah. Yeah, very healthy. Definitely getting bigger in the season. It fooled me for a king because uh, around the change of tide and it was swimming deeper and he had a hook on his belly right here. So he was just swimming a bit oddly. Good little fish there, guys. Sort of a 60 centimeter mark on 20 pound. So that pretty much sums up today's session, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share with your mates. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and tight line.